My name is Mrs. Gloria Uchechedo. I am from uh, Mbise, Imo State. I am the proprietress of uh, Glocal Schools. The vision came in place in um, 2016, 2017. Yes, I had that passion to impart to my world and to help the less privileged. So the uh, passion has been there and it came to bed on 2016 when we started. The, the, because God's hand was in it and because it was my dream, so I, I fight passionately to make sure it came to friction. I started by renting a place, an open place, I paid for it and I built something like this quackle of a team just to make sure I started because if I was to be waiting for when I would get a mansion or rent a, a duplex, I wouldn't have started. So I got a, an empty land, I built some things there and we started in 2016. And the passion of the work is just to make sure I impart because I felt and within me I know I have things to offer. Making sure that I help the less privileged children People walking about, no money for their parents to send to school. It was my passion to bring them to come and uh, be going to school. And then I was like going to uh, the like the obhas, the people that really know people that really need help, children that are not going to school. That please, if you know anyone that really need the help, it's just the money that is making them not to go to school. I'm, I was ready to help. So even here that we are now, that is what I am doing. Some children are here, they are not paying a dime. If you send them home, they will go home. You are the one that will go back and say, ah, this person has not been coming, please come back to school. And they will come back. If you send such children home, even you, because it's my passion, when I send them home, I see them rooming all about, I don't used to be happy. So this, uh, my dream, I have been bearing it, I have been carrying it alone. So it came to me as that I have to look for people that can support me. People that can like, I want to sponsor two children, I want to sponsor one, because there are still more out there that are, if, if today is like our day, uh, school hour, you would have seen other children walking about without cloth, self, without barefooted, they are walking about, they are not going to school. Even the ones we have here, some of them we are trying to manage them, but they are, we are still looking for people that will support us so that the fees and others will not be weighing us down. Because when you employ teachers, they are looking at the number of students in the school. They were like, ah, ah, I'm teaching so-so-so number and my salaries need to be increased and they will not understand what you are going through. And we also have the less paid ones. Just bring something. Is it one naira? Is it two naira? Just come. Because the parents will tell you, Madam, I cannot afford this, so this is what I can afford. So that is my passion and that is what I have been pursuing to. <laughs> oh boy, winning you was so easy. I just couldn't stand those your powerful shots. That's what happened. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's go to my place for dinner. is so nice. It's through unripe plantain flour. True unripe plantain flour is delicious. Yes, true unripe plantain flour is what I serve my husband for swallows. It's easy to prepare. Fortify with vitamin A, low in sugar and cholesterol, rich in fiber that helps the heart, builds and strengthens the bone, and his energy level <laughs> is Boosted. Through unripe plantain flour, no additives, 100% natural, a product of Pali Agro Products Nigeria. Through unripe plantain flour, available in all leading stores nationwide. Swift Dry Cleaners Limited, professional dry cleaners, best in dry cleaning and laundry services that meets the needs of our consumers.
Swift Dry Cleaners. Clean wash, quick delivery. The adage that goes that what, what is not paid for, most of times is not valued. So I have some, both the parents, both the children, because the parents did not pay a dime for it. The, the, the attitude to everything is so discouraging. You see them, they will not come today, they will come tomorrow, they will not come today, they will come tomorrow. But because it's my passion, I'm not looking at that, because if I'm looking on that, I will not face my, um, my passion or my dream. So that is the challenges in that area. Some people will value it, some will come and be praying for you, because we have some of them. Every day they will say, Auntie, God will bless you. Ah, if not you. God will bless you. So there are some challenges that are some people that also appreciate. One is um, the permanent site. It has been a problem. Since that 2016, I think we have moved up to four to five places. And this thing you will build after building, the owner will come and say, Madam, hey, hey, in the next two months, I'm giving you two months, you begin to go another place, you begin to, they will give you another place, you start building the next two two months or one year, ah, I'm sorry, madam, you have to vacate the place. So it has, for us to get a permanent site has been our challenge. You can see here where we are now managing, if, 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 rain, uh, the, if rain falls, flood, we fill all, all these places. So the real challenges we have now, one, getting people to sponsor us. Secondly, we want to get a permanent site where we can stay and tomorrow nobody is going to pursue us out of the place. Market, just make you go buy fresh pan fruits. When you reach house, you go wash, you go pound, your body gonna pay you, even your fingernails gonna pay you. But make gonna no worry, make gonna relax. I get good news for now. When I don't hear banga fresh pan fruit extract, all you need to do now make you go for the up, open now. Take the amount where you want, put that for your pot. Which soup you want make? She na busi. She na bono. She na vegetable. She na banga. Ah uh ah. -uh. My sister no waste time again. My brother no waste time again. Just go buy banga fresh pan fruit extract. They go no say you sabi cook and you be butter cook. Banga. Come make your food yum yum. Distributors needed nationwide. Phone number 08163974447. 080-35-64-4436-070-66-63-8213 Banga Fresh Pam Fruit Extract Most people don't understand the magic of the perfect skin. The allure of the well-pampered skin. We bounce from skincare products to skincare products. From spa to spa. Looking for that ideal solution. I found the solution. It's Blemiviv Skin Care and Spa. My name is Neil and I'm proud to be a part of the Blemiviv family. On this episode, Afri Woman meets Ashaba Farida, Ugandan born commercial pilot, TEDx speaker. Motivational speaker, United Nations women model, public speaking coach, and philanthropist. She is the founder and CEO of Bambino Life Foundation, an organization that focuses on promoting girl child education and empowerment, creating awareness about children living with disabilities, and providing a sustainable environment to children living in orphanages. Ashaba believes in breaking stereotypes. In September 2018, she became the director of STEM Queens Uganda, an initiative that encourages young girls to participate in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. 
in that same year, she also became the chairperson of Global Goodwill Ambassadors, GGA, Uganda chapter, to promote great opportunities for those in need. In 2019, she was appointed as the international spokesperson for the Global Goodwill Ambassadors and a spokeswoman for the World Youth Summit Dubai Act 2019. At the beginning of 2020, Ashaba Farida was named among the top 40 outstanding people in Uganda under 40 years of age by New Vision, a national newspaper. My name is Shada Kosai. I'm on my school's local school. I'm on premises. I'm 13 years old. Our factors has been nice to us. I just like I had no to pay school fees, but she has been helping us from right on time. Like I had no textbook, but I know that she said she would, she's going to provide for us. But I believe that one day, one day, which will be like her, just like her, to give her a word that what she has done for most of us. Most of us know is to pay school fees, but she has been giving us free education for this school. Most people do not have anything to eat, but she try her best to provide for them for, to eat. I like to be a lawyer. I feel bad just like when I am not going to school. People too feel bad for me. They ask me why I did not go to school. But just by God's grace, I can be here today. I would like to say when, when I grow up, I would like to give her a reward as what she has done to me. My name is Billy Semester. I'm foreseen going to 15 years. I'm in transition. I'm in school that's in school. Our school is in um, one place or another. So I was, um, that we have issues in our school. Um, when we went forward, we went inside the school, that like, we need um, help. Some um, you in this place who want us to live there, so we don't know where we are going now. Um, our school now is um, you know, the school. We need help from the, um, from the students. Fafesh uh, is a good person. She has the one helping me. I'm um, some of the students in the school. So we don't have book, we don't have sex book. We don't for her, we have nothing to do. And my parents are not paying my fee, but the professors allow me to stay in the school. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm let me feel like someone that is going to school. Uh, yeah, I'm still, I saw my um, someone going to school. Yeah, I'm not going. I feel so bad. But all thanks to the professors. Yeah, I would like to be a lawyer in the future. And if I will have shown my previous professors, I will sign calm and give out the sign because all times be on to her. It's just making me to to achieve my dream. Because as I rightly said before, once you know your dream, there are you, if you see all those uh, distractions and challenges, you will be focused to achieve your dream. Me being a woman, I, because naturally we are built with in, inner strength. God gave us extra inner strength. So that strength is already in me. I am not discouraged. I am not, if I'm discouraged, I wouldn't be Stay, sitting down here soliciting for help, soliciting for people to help us. I am not discouraged in any way. What we like discourage me, which I don't pray, is like, ah, nobody's appreciating what you are doing. Ah, madam, what is it? What are it will like dim my light, but it will not. Because it is my passion. I want to achieve my dream. I used to be very, 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 very happy. There is one here now, that boy, about 11, 12 years. He has not been going to school. We called him back, even because he has been testing this street life, go and pick some things on the road. Malan will buy it 15 or 100. We called the boy. Because of that, he's not going out to go and pick those things. Most of the times, we will not know him. He will not come to school one day, two days. But since, like, for some times now, he has been coming and now he can read, he can write. Anytime I see him, I'm very happy. And anytime I look, I do not see him. I don't used to be happy. So most of them are like that. When I see them, that I'm even thanking God that, that it is an opportunity to help humanity. That I, it is opportunity that I can help somebody and put a smile in somebody's life. So I feel happy seeing them. Yes, for people that have that passion of helping humanity and there are some challenges, uh, I would tell them not to look back. If that is their dream and that is what God has destined them to do, they will have distraction, just like our own distraction here. They will pursue us from here, go to an, we, as we are here now. We don't even know whether by the end of this year, the owner of this place will say, Madam, 
the people should go. Ah, please, because the man warned us that, Madam, I'm giving you this place, but the day I want to use my land, I don't want to hear a story. I say, please, sir, any day, any time you want to use your land, we will vacate. So it's, it's our own challenge. So just like anybody that is having their own uh, dream, they will have challenges. So they should not be discouraged with God. God will help them out. Mm -hmm.